Hey everybody, welcome to our first yoga class, our yoga 101. Let's all start standing on our mat, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is pick up all 10 toes, spread them really goofy wide, and then we're moving back down, okay? So kind of rooting the four corners of our feet, firm legs, slight tuck of the tailbone, little engagement in the belly, then arms down and open, eyes closed. And listen to your breath. Right? Listen and feel the pace of your inhale, the pace of your exhale. And our breath has a natural kind of cadence about it. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow. And it's so important to just take a moment and tune in. On our next inhale, let's open our eyes. Exhale, let it go. You can relax the hands. And as we move through our next few posture, just try and breathe intentionally in and out through the nose as best you can. Okay? Let's bend the knees slightly. Inhale, rise up. And exhale forward, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins. Create a flat back. Engagement with the hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. And then from here, we're going to interlace the hands. Press up and lean all the way over towards the right. You can gaze to your left or stay standing. Inhale, come up. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, back up. Interlace the hands, press, and then over to the second side, to the left. Inhale, come on back up. And then exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can come to shins or fingertips to the ground. So here, or here. Exhale, forward, fold, really warming up the hamstrings here. Last time, inhale, stand all the way back up. Baby back bend. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, plant your hands and walk your feet back. High plank pose. Hold here for a moment. Breathe in and breathe out. And then go ahead and drop your knees down. This is what we call all fours position. Now yeah, all fours. We're going to inhale and really spread the chest wide. Raise the tailbone high. We call this cow pose. Cow pose. Then exhale, press the ground away, arch your spine strong. We call this one cat pose, chin into chest. Again, inhale, cow pose. And exhale, press, cat pose. Just one more time, and it's okay if you want to stay in one position for a little longer or take a little breath. Exhale as you arch. Then inhale your body to neutral spine. So neither cat nor cow. Inhale your right hand in front of you. Thumb is towards the ceiling. And then bring your left foot back. Flex the foot strong like it's stomping on the back wall. And breathe. Feel your belly engage, your, your legs so strong holding you up, your arm fired up long. One more breath in, and then exhale, bring both limbs down to the ground. Let's go ahead and switch. Inhale your left arm up, and your right foot back. Flex the foot strong, reach in two directions here, and breathe. One more breath 
breath in and exhale as we come down. Go ahead and let your knees go wide, your big toes to touch, and then sink your hips back to take a few breaths in child's pose. On your next inhale, Utilize it to come all the way back up to all fours. Now tuck your toes under, and I want you to press your hips up and back. We call this pose downward facing dog. So I'm going to scoot my feet back just a little bit. I'm going to work on externally rotating my arms and then pressing my legs towards straight. In Sanskrit, we call this Adamukha Svanasana, a downward facing dog in English. Continue to breathe here. Let's go ahead and step our left foot to the center. Inhale, right leg up, and exhale, thread it through and plant. Drop the back knee. Inhale the chest, lunge pose. The toes can be under or flat. One more breath in. Exhale, plant the hands, flip the toes, step forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the right foot back, drop the knee. Inhale, lunge. One more breath in, exhale, plant, and this time step back, high plank pose, high plank pose. Feel the belly engage, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, peel forward, high plank pose, drop your knees down. Keep your belly engaged and elbows in. Exhale as you lower. Tops of the feet on the mat. We're going to plant our hands by our sides and then lightly press to go up and back. We call this cobra pose. So I'm pressing the tops of my feet into the mat and I'm engaging my back muscles and hugging my elbows towards one another. Breathe in to go up. Exhale to stay where you are. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale again, cobra pose, go up. One more breath in. And then on your exhale, plant your knees and press back up. Flip your toes, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, peel forward. High plank pose. You can go to your knees like we just did before. You can stay on your toes and find your low plank, chaturanga. Inhale to cobra pose or the upward facing dog with your legs off the mat. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So let's go ahead and put it all together now. We're going to walk our feet all the way to the top of our space. Inhale, stand all the way up. Tadasana pose. Always an option to do the baby back bend here. Hands come through heart center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank, low plank, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here.
Inhale your right leg behind you. And then gaze through and thread the leg through between your two thumbs. And when we come up, we're going to pivot our back foot so that the back pinky toe edge is parallel to the back of our mat. Come on up. Right? So front knee is bent over our ankle. Right? Back foot is flat and at an angle. Now we open our arms up to the front and to the back. And here is our warrior two pose. Warrior two pose. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath in. And as we exhale, let's windmill the hands so that they frame. Pivot the back foot. Step back, high plank. Low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, the left leg up. Thread it through between your two hands with control. Pivot the back foot. Inhale up, warrior two pose. In Sanskrit, we call this pose Virabhadrasana two. One more breath in. And with your exhale, windmill the arms to frame. Step the foot back. Low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet all the way up to meet your hands. Inhale, stand all the way up, high to dasana. Then one more time, let's side bend. So interlace the hands, press up, and then exhale, go over towards the right. Let the hips go farther to the left this time, now that our body is warmed up. Inhale, come all the way up. Baby back bend, bend your knees. Really good way to open up the chest and open up the back body there, yeah. Inhale, redo the hands, press, and then over to the left. Hips go to the right this time. Mm -hmm. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, bring your hands to touch and down at your heart center. In yoga, we call this pose Anjali Mudra. Right? And mudra is something we give our hands that is symbolic. Right? This mudra is a representation of, kind of how we start and how we finish our yoga, or whatever that means to us today. Right? It represents the intentionality we have in our movement and that we hope to take into our lives. So close your eyes and just continue to feel your breath, feel how your body is perhaps different than when you began these poses. One more breath in. This time out your mouth, exhale. Yes. Go ahead and open your eyes. Let your hands fall and you're right where you began.